Hey, welcome back, Rankers. You having a good week? I am. Spring's still trying to break through here, but I think it's going to bypass us and go straight to summer. Weird weather. Uh, hi to everybody in the US, and congratulations on your election. I don't know how it went yet. I'm recording it the day before. Uh, I want to talk to you about another election that's coming up, actually. But before we get to that, I want to tell you about a new Australian internet tax. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. <laughs> So it's going to be uh, levied by a registrar near you soon. So what the plan is here is that we have a, an organisation in Australia called the AUDA or the Australian, Australian Domain Administrator, Administration, AUDA. And the concept is, is that we're going to start having what we call direct AU registrations. Now that means that you can go out and register your name, .au. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Until you think about it for a little bit longer and then it's not so awesome. Then it's just really bad actually. So this came about because according to the AUDA, they surveyed, or let's just call them out, they surveyed 3,000 respondents and they asked them this question. If you had the choice Oh, if you had the choice to register a domain name and directly under .au, for example, your name .au, how likely would you be to do so? Now, to me, that's a terrible question if you're conducting an honest survey, because that is just such a leading question that, of course, someone's going to say, oh, yeah, probably would. What if the option wasn't there? Would you? Well, no, I couldn't. But if the option was there, I could. And the reason for that is simple. If you're going out and registering a .com.au, you, you might want to go and get the .net .au just to protect yourself as well. And, you know, if you're a .org .au, you might want to go and get the .com .au just to protect the brand as well. So, of course, people are going to answer in the affirmative when you ask the question like that. The problem with it is that it is a huge cost for business. Number one, you've got to, let's just say you own 10 domain names. There's 3 million domain names in Australia currently, right? So, there's another... Uh, three million domain names that have to be registered now because we've got to cover all our bases because you don't want somebody else cyber squatting on your domain name and this is no different. Now you might say, well, what are the benefits? Well, here is what Outer are telling us the benefits are. They're saying, and I'll put the guys back on again, they're saying uh, it is going to make available domain names which are not, which are shorter more appealing and more memorable. Well, we've only just got used to .com.au in this country. It's taken 30 years, but we've just got used to it. So now you're gonna screw with it and change it. Uh, give Australians more choice in deciding what domain name to register. No, there is no more choice. You might think there is more choice, but there's not. There is a base name brand that you're going to register. Then you're gonna choose what domain you're going to register there on. In .au space, it's probably gonna be a .com.au. If you go for a .com.au, you're gonna to have to get a .au as well. Now I know Tim Connell, who's also running for the board of Outer, has said that he'd prefer to see, if you're gonna go with this, then you may as well scrap .com.au. That's actually a bad idea. I understand the logic for saying that, but that's going to, would cause huge turmoil in the Australian domain space, especially from a search perspective, um, which you don't want to do. It would cost literally billions of dollars uh, to business if, if we did that. Um, the, this is, they're saying they're responding to market demand for .au's. Well, I, I haven't heard any market demand. I speak I've spoken to thousands of clients over the years, uh, all in business, online, and the majority of domain names are .com.au, and not one of them has ever said to me, oh, if only we could have direct name registration. Never have I ever heard it be muted. Uh, so respond to demand, market demand. Well, maybe there's a market demand from the registrars because they're the ones who are going to make millions of dollars out of this if it goes through, and there's no other way to look at it. Of course they are. Um, the, it's going to be more attractive to natural individuals than the current option of .idau. In case you didn't know it, you can go out and register your name .id.au. It was a stupid idea, and uh, Outer brought it into play, gosh, it was probably 12, 13 years ago, I guess. Um, dumb idea. If people want to register a vanity domain name, they're just going to go and get a .com if they can. That's the best one. It's the easiest. It's the most memorable. 
You ask anybody if you're going to get a vanity URL, what is it going to be? It's going to be a .com. It's not going to be a .au. Um, yeah, so that's that's dumb. Uh, strengthen the .au brand in a globally competitive market. I do not understand how making direct names .au available is going to strengthen the .au brand in a globally competitive market. There's no substantiation for that at all. Add value to all three main categories of users, registrars and resellers and registrants. So you and I are the registrants, right? So your registrars and your resellers, uh, so your resellers are just what they sound like. They're basically you know, getting a wholesale price for a domain name from a registrar and then putting a margin on top. No, it doesn't add value to all three categories at all. It only adds value to two categories. And the one that's left out is, of course, the registrants. The registrants category is getting screwed with this. Now, in Outer, there is membership. Uh, I became a member just over a year ago because I was a little bit concerned about some of the things I was hearing. Uh, this announcement was made back in April. I didn't see it. I didn't. I don't think I got an email about it. I'll have to go back and check my emails. But it was only brought to my attention because there was a, been a mass exodus of talent from a, uh, from Outer. So we've lost the CEO, we have lost board members, we have lost senior executive staff. Uh, there's gotta be over 100 years. I read a blog post the other day, said 67 years of experience has just gone from Outer. I think now it's, it's probably up over 100 years of experience from what I've heard. Um, there are some other senior uh, executives also leaving out there, and they're all basically very unhappy, is the rumours that I'm hearing. Uh, so that's what's happening. So if you want to stop this internet tax, there's possibly still time, because Outer has said they're going to do further consultation. So if you want to stop this, you can't vote for me at the board elections unless you're a member already or you're mem if you're a member of, of at least three months. Uh, but I still would encourage you to become a member uh, because you'll be able to have more of a say when uh, the outer is, is looking for more consultation. Well, that's what they're saying anyway. Um, but I would encourage you to become a member and then make your displeasure known with direct.au registrations because we don't know what these are going to cost. We know that the outer has just lost some pretty important staff, so we don't know what's going to happen with the policy. We don't know whether it's going to be first come, first served. You would hope it's going to protect people's trademarks. If someone has a, a trademark on an existing name, hopefully. But you know, who wants to go through all that? Why do we need to go through all that? There is absolutely no good reason for us. Like if, if it was out tomorrow, yeah, I would have to go, and I'm thinking about the domain names I own, and there's probably at least 20 of those that I'll probably have to go out and get a .au for, just because someone else doesn't get it. And you know, you might not have a trademark on your existing brand if you're a small business, and someone might just come in and, and take it. So go to auda.org.au, join up, become a member. It costs about $22 a year. So there's two classes of members. There's what they call the demand members, which is you and I, registrants. And then there is the supply uh, members. So they, they're people selling domain names. Um, and that's what it seems like this is all about. This is all for those supply members. And there doesn't seem to be uh, a lot of consideration for the demand members. We're just going to have to cop it sweet and we're going to have another domain name to manage and I'm going to get phone calls from people saying, oh, should I get this domain name? And we've just, I've just had major conversations with people over the last six months about new TLDs like .melbourne. And we've got people out there now saying, um, if you buy a .melbourne domain name, uh, you will rank higher. That's the ad I've seen, right? I'm not going to tell you who it is, but that sort of stuff is, is sorry, it's, well, I'll, I'll let, I won't say anything. I'll just, this is the Google's official word on um, the TLDs. So, let's get rid of this. So, uh, how will t new uh, generic TLDs affect search? This is things like .melbourne.sydney. Is Google changing the search algorithm to favor these TLDs? How important are they really in search? Google's response, overall our system treats 
new TLD, GTLDs just like other GTLDs, like .com and .org. Keywords in a TLD do not give any advantage or disadvantage to search. So if you're seeing advertisements out there at the moment that say, if you've got a .dot Melbourne, if you've got a .dot Sydney, or if you've got a, you know, a .dot Kevin, whatever, you're not going to rank higher simply because of that generic top-level domain name. And here it is, Google saying it in black and white, right? So we'll probably hear similar sorts of arguments when it comes to .au, but it's that's that's just going to encourage the cyber squatters. So anyway, if you want a protected domain name and you don't want to spend money on a new Australian internet tax, then get across to auda.org.au and become a member. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week.